Hi guys, this is Kevin Hill. I'm with Dallas DBAs in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. My Twitter handle is at Kevin3NF. Feel free to follow me. I, I would love to uh, chat with you if you have any questions about this when you're done. What I'm going for today is to answer the most popular forum question regarding SQL Server asked across all the different support forums on the internet. My log file is huge, my data file is small, help, how do I fix it, what happened, and how do I make it not happen again? Usually it's not that long-winded, it's usually I've got this 78 gig or 500 gig log file and a 40 meg data file and I don't know what to do or why. So without any further delay, let's just dive right into it. The first thing I'm going to show you is a sample database I've created. Small data, big log. You can see that it is a 40 meg data file. It's a simple database with one table. We'll look at it in a minute. And it's got a 10 gig log file. Just because it has a 10 gig log file, that doesn't all that tells you is the physical file size on the drive is huge compared to this. There could be legitimate reasons for that. Not many, but it's possible. So when you see this is going on, more than likely you've gotten an error in an application. Um, either you've gotten an alert that you've got, you know, you're running low on disk space, or you've filled up a hard drive, or an application has stopped being able to work with your particular database that it's complaining about that this log file is attached to. So one of the first things you want to do is go over here to your SQL Server Management Studio, and this methodology of troubleshooting, the tools may look a little different. This goes all the way back to at least SQL Server 7 in 1998 when I first started. So we've got this this data this database here. If we go to the properties of it, we're basically going to see a GUI version of the exact same thing we just saw. Here's the log file. It's 10 gigs. 10,201 megs is roughly 10 gigs. And we have a 41 gig or I'm sorry, 41 meg data file. We knew this already, but at least it's confirmed what we were seeing. Oh, one more thing in here. Something very important to look at in the options tab. This database is in full recovery model. For those who don't, that basically means this one can be restored to any point in time. Recovery models are a completely different conversation, but it's important in this context. If you're in simple, you're not able to back up your log files. If you're in full, you are. There's a lot of stuff around that that I won't get into today. So let's cancel out of this. I'm like, great. So we know we have a big log file and we know we have a small data file. Let's look in here at the, the reports that are built into Management Studio. It looks a little bit different if you're on the ancient SQL 7 or SQL 2000. It's, uh, it's a graphical view that as soon as you click on the database and go to view and taskpad, you'll see a similar, it's a bar chart instead of a pie chart. Let's go to reports, standard reports, disk usage, and it brings up pretty pictures of your data. The data file is on your left. You can see that it's com almost completely full of data. I've just got the one table in here. There's no indexes or anything, but my 40 megs that says here are 41. They're full of data. Fine. My 10 gig log file over here on the right is used 100%. It is full of log data. What is being logged is the short version inserts, updates, and deletes. Select statements are just queries on the data. They are not logged, they are not in here. So you can see this is actually full of data as opposed to being an empty log file that just got really big one day and everything else is fine and just needs to be smaller. Um, in the process of making this happen, you'll see a bunch of log file auto growths here where I was growing by 100 megs at a time and yes, it took a long time to get this done at 100 megs to get up to 10 gigs, but I needed to make sure it, it, that you saw this. All right, so we know we have a log file that's full. What do we do about it? We already saw that we're in full recovery model, so the first answer, we need to take a backup of this. What's going on here is I was running this query. I've just got a table that has some number column, and it's got a get date, and it's got an ID. And I had previously populated with some, I don't know, 1.3 million records, what have you, with random numbers between 1 and 100. So I was just taking, I was doing updates for 420, then set it to 42, and then set it back. So basically, I was updating the same rows to, to, to between back and forth between two different values. All of those updates, every single one of them, is logged in the transaction log, and it just keeps appending and appending and appending auto-growing when it needs to, and eventually it filled up to a capacity that I had set on it, and I forgot to show you that. In the files on this log file, the one that's huge, 
the maximum file size right there, I had limited to 10 gigs because I really didn't want to fill up my own hard drive and trash my machine. So that's where that was set. When it hit that cap, the next time I tried to run it, I was actually running the update, I'm sorry, the, uh, the select count and an update. The select worked just fine. The update statement generated a 9002 error, which always means the transaction log is full. That should be a giant flag to you. The transaction log full means it needs to be backed up. If we go to the properties of this database, I deliberately skipped over this general tab. You can see that I backed up the full database yesterday, well, on March 7th, and the log has never been backed up. First step in troubleshooting, or one of the very first, if you're in full recovery model and you see that you've never done a log backup, that's a problem. If it's a database that receives actual data manipulation, insert, update, and delete statements, and is not just read-only, this is going to cause you trouble at some point. It may be years, it may be hours. This just depends on how busy your database is. So, this is this. There's a, if it's the data file that's full, you get an 1105 error here, not a 9002. I forget when they broke that out specifically. I want to say SQL 2005, but when you see 9002, it's full. You really have two choices. You can run a backup on it, and I just happen to have a log backup plan. I'm not going to run that because I don't really want to back up a 10 gig log file and take the time in this video to do it. But if I hit start job here, it would run. And when you go look at this uh, report, wherever I put that, apparently I closed it. When you go look here, this whole thing will change for to whatever color unused is. It's green. Some I've seen this shift around a little bit depending on uh, the addition and version of SQL Server you're using, or at least I think I have. But read the key. So it'll completely empty out, but it will not shrink. So what you would do, let's pretend this that I've done a backup and this is all green now. You know, Normally we don't recommend uh, shrinking things in database files for good reason about fragmentation and whatnot. This is one of those situations where you absolutely need to do this. So if I go into shrink files, and please don't shrink your whole database at once, it's a bad idea. I go to shrink files and I pick that log file. If this was all green and I had emptied it through the backup, my minimum would be zero here that I could shrink to. It says this and it won't actually do it because it's full. The free space is zero. When it has space, it will shrink down to a minimum. I'm actually surprised it says that right now. That that may be a gotcha in Management Studio. This is a most current version that's been released. But you'll want to go to tasks, shrink files after you've done a backup. If you're one of the people that has one of these 500 gig log files that filled your whatever drive and you can't expand it and you don't have room to back it up and that's one of the most common situations, what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to hack at it and just hope you've got a full backup. Before you do anything I tell you or anybody else tells you to do on the internet, take a full backup of your database. Save your job. Save having to update your resume in a hurry. Just just do it. All right, so let's pretend, and we do have a full backup. We know that. If you have to go, if you can't go the backup route, go, to, go back to the options, change the database to simple recovery model, and hit OK. And what that's going to do, I don't know if it'll show it right away, but yep, it chunked every transaction in those update statements, they're gone. So because I'm in simple, I can no longer recover to a point in time. I can only go back to my full backup and any differentials I may have. Transaction logs are straight out. I can't even run a T-log backup on this one now because SQL Server won't allow it. But I've emptied my file. Great, my hard drive is still full. What do I do? Go back where I told you, over here to tasks, shrink, files, not database, Make sure you change to the log file here, please. And now it says my available space is 98%. So I'm going to shrink this down to 40 megs just so it can match. And these are generally very quick. They're not, you don't always get exactly the amount of space back. It's just a weird SQL Server f glitch almost or feature. Sometimes you get it, sometimes you won't. I got 51. I said 41, but close enough for government work, even though we don't work for the government as far as we know. Notice that I have now a 51 meg and a 41 meg. That's a whole lot better than 10 gigs or 500 gigs. And when I go over here, there's my data file. There's my log file. All is happy and good. Now, 
if you really do need to have point in time recovery, go back over here, go to properties, go to options, set it back to full recovery model, and run a full backup. Now that you're done with your maintenance, you have one before, now you have one after, and you're you're now at a point that business can move forward, and you can be confident that any future transactions will be fine. So that's it. If your log file is full, and you'll the easy way to check that is during this graph. There's a lot of other scripts you can run and whatnot, but if you're in a hurry and you got your manager screaming, you know, down your neck about the app is down, get it emptied out, preferably through a log backup, secondary through changing it to simple, shrink back to full, and then get on with your life and you look like a hero. So hopefully this answered your questions. Uh, again, put my contact information up here. If it didn't, go to DallasDBAs.com. There's contact information for me uh, slash blog if you want to read a bunch of stuff that I've written for junior DBAs, accidental DBAs, sysadmins, people that don't know all the ins and outs of SQL. I try to translate these things into, into pretty common language away from SQL Server very often. Or, and I would love it if you would follow me on Twitter. It makes me feel good when people follow me because I'm not insecure. I just like to have people walking around asking me questions that I know the answer to. Everybody likes that. So hope this helped you out. Have a wonderful day.